The NFL is a cash cow. This explains why private equity is so interested in getting in on the action. Now, let's think about it for a second. If I were to offer you millions of dollars in exchange for some ownership in your business, what would you assume were my true intentions? Would you be skeptical of the interest? Would you jump at the millions of dollars without second thoughts? Or would you not care whatsoever? Now, let's take a step back and think about what a potential influx of private equity money could mean for the NFL. As discussed in my Is Wall Street Destroying Football video, private equity firms are financial giants that buy and sell companies for profits. Their desire to be involved in the NFL goes back decades, and in recent times, talks of private equity involvement in the NFL has increased. As widely reported, the NFL may begin to permit franchises to take on private equity investments. But as we'll discuss later in this video, this money usually comes with strings attached. So how did we get here? Well, simply put, the valuations of NFL franchises have skyrocketed to such heights that the only real potential buyers for minority stakes are now sovereign wealth funds, hyper-wealthy individuals, and or private equity firms. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but as you can see, the days of being a well-off individual who may have sold their pharmaceuticals company for a few hundred million will no longer cut it if you want to buy into an NFL franchise. Now, just because the pool of buyers is dwindling doesn't mean there aren't motivated sellers. And to add context, let's have a look at how NFL franchises have grown in the last two decades. It's pretty clear to see that NFL owners would like to broaden the pool of potential buyers to be able to actually realize some of the value they've created. In a world where there are less folks to sell to at these levels, entertaining private equity makes sense. With that being said, does the NFL make sense for private equity? Think about it for a second. Private equity is in the business of buying low and selling high. With the development of NFL valuations over the last two decades, this of course makes it a logical target for private equity investments. This increase in NFL valuations are in part due to cap salaries, sustainable profitability, and increased broadcasting and commercial revenues. How much further these things can be exploited, however, remains to be seen. And so, this calls the actual value private equity can add other than money into question. Remember, private equity firms typically drive value in acquired businesses via cutting costs, selling assets, and or revenue enhancement. So the way in which private equity typically realizes value could be at odds with NFL franchises. Private equity firms would have a seriously hard time driving costs down further. So we can somewhat disregard that as a means of value creation. They couldn't really come in and sell assets either, mainly because private equity will not own the lion's share or the decision-making share in franchises. Also because most of the assets held by franchises are needed for day-to-day -day operations. Now, while private equity may struggle to cut costs and or sell assets, on the other hand, private equity could help in the revenue enhancement department. But as discussed in my why the NFL is so rich video, which you can find here, the NFL has already done a splendiferous job of maximizing its revenue generating potential. So it's not immediately apparent how private equity firms will truly add additional value in the revenue enhancement department. If you have ideas though, please drop a comment down below. And while there, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, along with the question marks surrounding private equity's ability to really add value outside of liquidity, to the NFL, we have to comment on private equity's propensity to think short term. Private equity raises money from investors to buy and eventually sell companies. The investors in a fund are typically pension funds, high net worth individuals, endowments, and insurance companies. These businesses will begin to apply pressure on private equity firms if assets in the fund are underperforming thus leading to reactionary behavior. If we look at how things have transpired at Chelsea Football Club in the UK, this is a great case study on how outside influences can negatively impact a sports franchise leading to its decline. The positive for the NFL is that private equity will not be in the driving seat at any one franchise. This could be the masterstroke as it prevents the sometimes short-sighted nature of private equity from destroying value in the NFL. But with this in mind, why on earth is private equity so interested in the NFL? There are a few responses to that question. One, some firms may intend on passively riding the wave of increased revenues and valuations. Two, some firms may genuinely think they can add value. 
by enhancing revenues and or attempting to implement some sort of management overhaul of underperforming franchises. Three, some may view it as an asset from which they can earn handsome amounts of steady income each year. Now, it's really difficult to say exactly why private equity is interested in the NFL. And as demonstrated, it's likely that different firms have different motivations. So let's discuss some pros and cons. One of the main pros for NFL owners is that they can more easily realize value from their franchises with a widened pool of potential buyers. Another potential pro is that private equity groups could leverage ownership in other related businesses to the benefits of a franchise. For example, if a private equity firm owns a stake in a leading sports data company, perhaps expertise can be shared with a franchise to give it a competitive edge. As for the cons, if private equity aims to realize value by any means necessary, this could result in cost being cut. In other words, decreased salary for players and staff. This is unlikely, but still possible. In addition, in a bid to bolster profitability, fans could be made to pay more to see the game they love, thus making the game of football less accessible. We've seen the impact of private equity in other sports, and the results have been mixed. Some have been successful for both shareholders and sports teams, and others have been a failure. Private equity in the NFL, or sport more broadly, is not necessarily a bad thing. The difficulty, though, at times, can be the alignment of the two businesses. While private equity is driven by profit, sports teams tend to want to balance on-field success with profits. Now, to wrap up, it's important to remember that football is more than a game. It's a community, a tradition, and to some, a source of pride. For fans, players, and stakeholders, it's crucial to stay informed and protect the essence of what makes the NFL special. So I implore everybody who loves the game to stay informed and engaged. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe for more insights on the world of sports. For more on the NFL, please check out my other video on the wealth of the NFL here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.